Hello everyone, let's start with question number 9 and I am on 6th part. If you want to see all the uh, all other parts, then you can see the playlist in description box. So, this is from exercise 3.3 NCRT example. So, let's solve it. Solve the question 6. So, here we are given with A and B as their denominator. So, therefore, it is very clear as it is a fraction. So, the, it is very clear that we need to take LCM of it. So, for equation 1, you can see we have A and B as denominator. So, we need to take A and B as their LCM. So, for the first one, we, we need to make it as AB. So, in first one, what we need to multiply is B. So, the first term will be XB and the second term will be plus into a we need to multiply the second term with a so that it makes a b so it will be y a equals a plus b now we need to solve this further so it will be x b plus y a equals a plus b into a b a plus b into a b so my equation will be x b plus y a equals First term with first, second term with b. So it will be a square b, then the second will be a b square. So this is my equation number 1. Now the second part. We need to solve the second part similarly. But here we the LCM is a square b square. So it is a square, b square here. And now we need to make the first term as a square, b square. So we need to multiply the first one with b square. b square x. And the second one will be with respect to a square. So that it makes a square, b square. So it will be y a square equal to. Now. Again, we need to use cross multiplication. So, it will be b square x plus y a square equal 2 into a square b square. This is my second part. Now, we can use any method to find the value of x and y here. So, in this, I would be using elimination method. So, as you can see, we have xb here. In equation 1 and equation 2, we have b square x. So, therefore, it is quite easy to tell which term we need to multiply in equation 1 is b. So, that we can make the first term as x b square. So, my term first becomes x b square. And the second term will be plus a b y equals. Now, the next term that is on the right hand side. It will be a square b square plus a b cube. Now, the second equation as it is. So, it will be x b square plus y a square. Then, it is 2 a square b square. Now, we need to subtract these two equations. So, x b square plus x minus x b square gets cancelled out. And we are left with a b y minus a square y equals a square b square minus 2 a square b square will be minus a square b square and the second term will be plus a a b q. Now from left hand side you can see we can take common as y. I will write this answer again here. a b y minus a square y equal minus a square b square plus a b q. So, from left hand side we can take common as a y and we are left with b minus a equals we can take b square common from the right hand side. So, we are left with minus a square and the other term will be, again we can take a common as well. So, it will be minus a
and we are left with b here so we are left with y equals a b square minus a minus b over a b minus a so now we can make the above one as b minus a by taking minus common out of it so a and a gets cancelled out first it is plus here sorry it is plus here minus a plus b so therefore these two gets cancelled as well so y is b square now we need to find the value of x so you can use any equation out of 1 and 2 so that we can get the value of x so i would be using second equation so it is b square x plus y is b square so i will replace y with b square a square equal to a square b square now you can bring b square a square to the right hand side so it will be b square x equal 2a square b square minus b square a square so 2a square minus b square minus b square a square will be a square b square so we are left with b square x so x is b square and b square gets cancelled out so x is a square so this is your value for sixth part